Albert Wong is my name, Wong Zhuling. I was born in Hong Kong. I've lived in Australia for the past 43 years. I've been very fortunate. I have been a stockbroker, investment banker. My business partners, some very good mentors, including the late Premier of New South Wales, the Honourable Neville Rand. Some of the worthwhile things we did was saving Bond University which is the first and only private university in Australia. I'm here to talk about the forgotten today. Who are the forgotten? The Chinese Labour Corps. In 1914-1915, at the beginning of the Great War, World War I, Great Britain and France were fighting Germany. They sought the assistance of the Chinese and asked China to send troops to help with the effort to fight the Germans, to assist with the war effort. So they were not on the front lines, but behind the front line, helping dig trenches, laying rail lines, care for the injured, burying the dead, and so on. At the end of the war, China did engage in the war in 1917, but at the end of the war, these Chinese labor corps stayed back and helped clean up a lot of unexploded munitions they helped remove and France were generous enough to allow some of these Chinese laborers to stay and they became the genesis of the Chinese population in Europe. The efforts and the sacrifice made by the Chinese labor corps, many of them died from sickness and starvation. We believe, although the records are unclear, somewhere between 15 and 20,000 of these Chinese labor corps perished and they've never been recognized and I was introduced to this story about a year ago by an Australian historian Mr. Will Davies and I've now asked Mr. Will Davies, I've commissioned Will Davies to write a book about this missing chapter in history. My hope for this year is to have this book completed, printed and published and distributed amongst the schools and the libraries in Australia. My personal reasons for doing this is because I am Chinese. I was born in Hong Kong. I'm a Chinese Australian. I have lived in Australia for 43 years now. But when it comes to Anzac Day and the sacrifices made during World War I and II, I felt like an outsider, not a sense of belonging because the sacrifice were made by others, not of Chinese origin. But now having learnt that there were Chinese sacrifices, it provides me with a sense of belonging. And I wish to share this with the younger Chinese so that they too can feel a sense of belonging to ensure that the things that were fought for, the lives that were sacrificed, were not wasted. I used to say that I'm a capitalist pig with a conscience. So I am not perfect, but I hope that when I leave this world that I would have made a positive contribution. I should say that the positive contribution that I make will outweigh the negative contribution I've made in my life. You know, one of my heroes is the late Bruce Lee who made me feel really proud to be Chinese. And one of the things he said was, before one considers immortality, one should live a life which is worth remembering. And I very much subscribe to that philosophy.